Hello everybody, this is Tech Cut. in this video what I'm going to be doing is showing you five must-do things when you first install Pop! OS. Now you can see here I have Pop! OS up and loaded. I'm just going to type in my password real quick and we will jump right in. Now all of this is based on a post that I did on techhut.tv. You can see it right here. Now what I'm going to do is actually skip to number two in this and enable the minimize and uh, maximize buttons. Now, for some reason, by default, Pop! OS does not have this. Now, you could just right click and do it this way, minimize, go back here, open it up, and there you are, but that's too much work when you could do it in one click instead of two. So what we're gonna do is sudo apt get the gnome tweaks. So if you hit the window key and press T, or the super key, whatever you want to call it. We're going to go ahead and paste that in there. Type in that password one more time. Hit Y for yes to confirm the installation and download. And you are good to go. So from here, we are going to go ahead and search for tweaks. Open that up. Go to the window title bars. Click that. And under the title bar buttons, you'll see maximize and minimize. We're going to go ahead and enable both of those and then you can see them show up right here. That is the first thing I do. That is, in my opinion, one of the most important things because I heavily rely on that minimize button. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and update our system. So go ahead, go to the website, copy and paste the code I have there. Or what you can do is go to the terminal, open that up and then type in sudo apt update. When you hit that, it's gonna ask for your password and then it's gonna begin updating everything on your computer. Once it's done that, you can run another command. So I'm gonna paste that in again, but instead I'm gonna type in full upgrade, upgrade, G, if I can spell, grade, full upgrade and hit yes and then it will download the full upgrade for your Linux or your Pop! OS distribution. So this may take a while. So while it goes ahead and upgrades everything on the computer, we're gonna go ahead and do the next step, which is installing the Dash 2 dock. Now what this will do is put a dock on the side here, kind of like Ubuntu. You can customize it so it doesn't have to be like Ubuntu. So we're just gonna click the link right here, go to the extension website, it's going to have a little thing right here to control GNOME Shell extensions using this. What this does is it just makes it a lot easier. It adds a plugin to Firefox to be able to do this. So we're just going to click here to install the browser extension. Continue the installation. It'll take just a second. Click add and you are good to go. So go ahead and refresh the page and that little notice will go away. You'll have an option right here to switch this to on and you'll get this dialog box to install the extension. You're just going to go ahead and click install. It takes almost no time at all to do. Boom, we see the dock appear right here. Now to show all your applications, you click this button. If you want to go into the settings and customize this dock however you please, right click here, dash to dock settings. You can open this up and have tons of customization features. So what I do is I like to lock this in so it kind of has the Ubuntu look. I believe that's under position and size and panel mode. Yeah, panel mode. That's my personal preference. You can customize this however you want. You can change the icon sizes. So if I scroll down, I can make them super small, a lot bigger. You could change the actual launchers, behavior, appearance, and tons of other things. So going back on this website, we are going to load up on applications. So if I go back here, you can see by default, Pop! OS does not come with that many things. Just the bare bones, calculator, calendar, office, a couple utilities, and that is it. They do that intentionally. They don't want a whole bunch of things pre-built into the system, and they want it a small file size, well, as small as they can make it and basically you pick everything you want. Now to get applications, the easiest way is through their app store, which is the pop shop. 
Now, if you're familiar with Linux distributions at all, this may look familiar to you. This is essentially a borrowed version of the elementary OS app store or shop, whatever you want to call it. And here you can scroll down and download whatever applications you want. Right here are the pop picks. I'd recommend you go through here and download some of these because you're going to want some of these applications. So here they have Steam, Telegram, Spotify, a couple uh, coding applications if you're into that, uh, Google Chrome or the Chromium web browser, a virtual machine. Me personally, whenever I install an operating system, loading up on apps is one of the first things I do. So I personally download VirtualBox, FileZilla, VLC. I highly recommend everybody download VLC. And if you're a creative type, kind of like I am, you would want to download DaVinci Resolve, which is the best video editor available on Linux, and in my opinion, even Windows. And of course, GIMP, because GIMP is wonderful. Now we are going to go back, open up Firefox, and go to the very last step, install restricted formats. Now by default, Linux or this Pop! OS comes with a lot of media codecs, but it only comes with the open source ones because a lot of these require a terms of service for you to agree to, which I'll show you in just a sec. If I go ahead and copy this code right here, and paste it into the terminal, sudo apt get install Ubuntu restricted extras. You may be asking yourself why Ubuntu? In reality, this is a Ubuntu based operating system with some tweaks, some extras, and anything or any guides titled Ubuntu will work perfectly fine with Pop! OS. Go ahead and click that or hit enter. Yes, we want to install it and it will begin downloading all the packages for a couple different file formats that aren't included by default. And this is kind of what I was talking about right here, the terms of service for some of the Microsoft codecs. Now the reason why this generally isn't included is because you don't want to have this kind of software in something that's supposed to be 100% free, 100% open source operating system. So you can add it, but they like to make it something you have to do. So if the OK is not highlighted, go ahead and hit the tab button, hit OK, and you want to agree to their license for this software, and it will go ahead and finish this up. While it does that, we are going to jump back over here and install this. So if you want to be able to play DVDs, so if you actually have a DVD drive and you want to use this, go ahead and do sudo uh, package reconfigure and download this codec. I'm not going to do it because I have no intention on playing DVDs because one, this is a virtual machine and two, my computer build doesn't even have a DVD drive, which I thought would never be a thing, but it is. And that is about it. All done. No errors. All fonts downloaded and installed, installed all these different codecs and we are good to go. So that is the five things that I think you need to do when you first install Pop! OS. Now this video is Pop! OS specific, but this a lot of this information can apply to Linux, Mint, Ubuntu, a wide variety of Ubuntu based operating systems. There are a ton of them. Now Pop! OS, I am currently trying it out. I This is a virtual machine on my main desktop, but I installed this as the main operating system on my laptop. So expect a video coming out on what I think about that because I will be using it fairly heavily to do writing and just general internet surfing on that laptop. It's a ThinkPad uh, X260 or 260X, something like that. It's a ThinkPad. ThinkPads are beautiful laptops. So enough rambling. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Subscribe for more videos like this. Ring that bell so you get notified when I upload anything. I do all kinds of Windows tutorials. I like to do a lot of Linux-based videos like this, hardware, in not interviews, hardware unboxings, overviews, installation tutorials. You should see a screen right now with a couple playlists. Go ahead and check those out. Have a great day and goodbye.